Hello all, I am Ms. Vaishali Soni, class teacher of Senior KG A from Rejoice International School. We already learned about three modes of transport and public transport. Let's do a quick recap of what we have learned. So, here comes the first question on your screen. Can you tell me any one vehicle that is used as public transport? Yes, correct. Auto rickshaw. Which is the fastest means of public transport? Correct. Rail transport. How many people can travel by train? Hmm, excellent. 300 to 500 people. Which is the most expensive and fastest means of public transport? Correct. Air transport. So today we are going to learn about commerce transport. Let me tell you what do we mean by commerce transport. So, physical movement of goods from one place to the other. For example, farmers grow sugarcane in the fields. Farmer cuts the sugarcane and then it is being transferred from the fields to the factories. So, the process of transferring the sugarcane, that's raw material, to the factories is through the medium of commerce transport. Then, in the factories, the sugarcane are being processed. And what do we get from sugarcane? Correct, we get sugar. So, then the sugar is the finished product, which is going to be distributed in different shops altogether. So, from factories to the shops, the process, the transport is called commerce transport. So, children, let us see. What are the types of commerce transport? Lorry. A lorry is a large vehicle that is used to transport goods by road. Truck. A truck is a large vehicle that is used to transport goods by road. A truck is often an open vehicle. A truck is usually smaller in size than lorry. Tank trucks. A tank truck is a gas truck, fuel truck or a tanker truck is a motor vehicle designed to carry liquid loads or gases on roads. Yes, can you see water tanker and milk tanker? Yes, water and milk is also used to transport from one place to the other. Delivery van. A van is suitable for delivering goods or services to the customers. Cargo ship. A cargo ship is a merchant ship that carries goods and materials from one port to the other. Air cargo. An air cargo that carries goods and materials from one airport to the other. So, this is all about commerce transport. Now, I'll show you a picture and you all have to guess what is it. Students, it's a construction site. A construction site is a place where new buildings are made by using different things like cement, bricks, water, glass, iron pillars, etc. A person who makes a drawing of new building is called architect. And a person who makes new buildings and bridges are called engineers. But why are we learning about all this today? Because many vehicles are also used at construction site. These vehicles are called construction vehicles. Let's have a look at the construction vehicles and learn more about them. Dump truck. The backside of the dump truck can be raised to dump things like sand or loose material from one place to the another. It is also called a dumper truck. It works on petrol. Digger. 
it is used for digging in the ground. It has a shovel attached to it which is used for digging. Crane. A crane is a type of machine generally equipped with a hoist rope that is wire ropes or chains that can be used both to lift and lower materials. It is used to lift heavy objects and to transport it from one place to the other. Cement mixer. It has a circular drum on its back which moves round and round and round so that the water in the cement can mix properly. The paste which we get ready in the drum is used to join the bricks so that the workers can make walls and pillars. Bulldozer. It is used to break down the old buildings so that new buildings can be made. Road roller. The road roller is also used to make proper roads so that we can drive properly on the road. There's a huge cylinder in the front which helps to make uneven road a flat one. And now it's the activity time. If you have any commerce vehicles or construction vehicles, kindly show it to your friends and talk about it in the class. So be ready. Thank you. I, Miss Vaishali Soni, would like to sign off on behalf of Rejoice International School. Thank you.